Yeah, the same boot cell as that nice oscilloscope turned up. This little magneto turned up. It's in its box. You just never know what you're going to find there. Generator details about it, order number. Contractor, American Automatic Electric Sales Company, Chicago, USA. The only thing that was missing was the little crank, little handle, which would go on there. But that's no problem. Let's have a look at it. It's got three horseshoe magnets. There's a number on there as well. It's American Automatic, which was possibly one of the other telephone manufacturers. I should know this, but uh, it slipped me at the moment. Funny enough, I just noticed on the box there it's got SC. Now SC could well stand for Stromberg Carlson, which was one of the American telephone manufacturers. Stromberg Carlson. So I've just noticed that and it's the pennies dropped. Anyhow, let's have a little look at it. As I say, it's three horseshoe magnets, which are fixed to a large metal extended pole face. In there, revolving at some speed, you've got a coil, a coil of many turns. And you've got a magnet or a magnetic yoke or armature which revolves around inside and every time you actually feel it as you're doing it you can feel the the force or the as that passes the pole you, you get resistance you just feel it. as that that time it does that it sends a pulse of electricity out uh, it's AC, the magneto, and it would be used for ringing phone bells. The old fashioned phones had like a handle on the side which would turn the handle and that would ring the bell at the other end or at the uh, telephone exchange at the central office. The operator would know someone's calling and would go in and answer them. Now it's AC this would send out at about 25 cycles and it would be just enough to ring an AC bell. The actual speech circuit is DC but the ringing circuit is AC. A nice little item. It's never been used. You've got a set of contacts. Now on the base that one there goes out on that metal spigot that just sticks out and makes contact on the brass spring which goes through and it goes through a changeover contact and if you press in the handle you got an ebonite piece sticks out and it actually changes the contact over and that would be used obviously in the signalling for ringing the bell. You've got your contacts there, terminals. Obviously as this spins round inside one side is fastened to the metal work and the other one is through that slipping brush-like contact. Anyhow, I thought I'd put it on for, for a bit of interest. An old-fashioned magneto. What I may do with it, would like to do, is find a little handle, a little crank handle that will go on there, 
screw that on, mount it on on a piece of um, wood, MDF or something like that, and connect up to it one of my neon bulbs, preferably without the resistance. And turning the handle, lo and behold, the lamp should light up. Anyhow, to put it in as a bit of general interest. Any questions, please ask. And uh, thanks again for looking. Thank you.